Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ANGI. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame and has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. And in this situation makes a very valid question quite straightforward. That question revolves around the fact that today the price made a very nice bounce. I mean, when you consider where the price was during the first 30 minutes of the day all the way down there, and then you look at the range of the chart where it was, uh, you know, the price was able to close, any rational person would say, yeah, the, the price has certainly made a very nice bounce. But that does lead to the valid question now of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength or is this just some sort of knee-jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make mapping out that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single area. And that area is down here at, let's see, what is that? $8.90. So why is $8.90 important? Well, hopefully we can agree on the logic that price movements with genuine power, with true strength, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. So with that in mind, think about $8.90. If the price were to go down here and then just continue on down through, what would that be doing to the price? Well, from a very literal perspective, that would be putting the price right back inside of that area of the chart where the price was when it was flirting with those lows. And again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price goes down here, behaves in this manner, and then starts to work its way back upwards. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have those lows down there. If you envision each one of those as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's gonna make progress forward. And in this situation, quote unquote, progress being defined again as $8.90. Now, what about levels of resistance if this bounce continues? Key mark going forward, gonna be right up here around the $9.50 mark. And if there can be a good high volume break of 9.50, then I think it'll get up through that little high right there at about 9.60. And then with that break also, and then this is just more so an overarching level, it'll make it'll be a little goofy at first, but if the price can get through 9.50, then you'll wanna turn your attention to the purple line there, the 50 period moving average. Keyword being moving, because I get it, yeah, that line is way up there. But as Friday plays out on the next week, you know that line will move itself lower and lower and get more and more relevant. But as of right now, like I said, uh, you know, that first hurdle that needs to be cleared up uh, before anything else is the 950 mark. But all in all, anyway, look at it. Very nice bounce today. Not just a question of can the bulls build upon this momentum going forward. We will see. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I want to invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you want to call it. But it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.